today's video is gonna be a little different. Meaning it is it's gonna, gonna be, be story time. kind of a story time, and it is three instances in which I scared the shit out of my mom. So today is this woman's birthday. That's me. That's my mom. Okay. One instance in which I scared the crap out of my mom was when I was. I want to say three or four because it's like one of those years where you don't really remember shit but like you get told stories over and over. It was summer I think and I was just chilling with my mom. She was gardening or doing something rather. We had a driveway that was really sloped and I thought it would be a fantastic idea to let my brakes go and just roll down my driveway. And my mom like had her back turned or something and I let go of my brakes and I start rolling down the hill and I'm like wee like completely oblivious. And then it hits the curb and there's no dip. It's just straight curb like that big of a curb. It's a big curb. <laughs> so I'm flying down the hill and I go face first into the pavement. At this point, my sister's somewhere in the front yard screaming because she just saw what happened. And she screamed so hard that her nose started bleeding. And I feel bad now looking back, but um, she was bleeding from her nose. And I was over there like turtled because I couldn't get up from underneath my chair and like my face was all beat up from the pavement. But lo and behold, mom came to the rescue, cleaned my sister up, washed my face, and like cleaned up the like wounded area. And then this happened. Yep, that is a napkin on my head and my busted lip and just smiling. I was such a strange child, I swear to God. So Apparently I wasn't phased by anything. I was like, put a napkin on my head, snap a photo, show the world I'm good. Next story. This happened a lot. Like this isn't a one time thing. Like it happened multiple times, but this incident was the funniest that I've heard. I was about six, I believe, because it was our first or second year um, camping. And my mom, my dad, and my sister were busy setting up our campsite, and I got bored. So, naturally, I left the campsite and went to the next campsite where I saw people. And, like, this is a major red flag to most people, but to me, I was like, cool, people! And I was like, oh, hey, my name's Felicia, what's yours? And note that I'm six. So, like, these people were probably like, why is there a child coming and introducing themselves? What? So, they're probably flabbergasted at the thought of me being six and being like, hey, what's up? And this incident, like, I don't know how it came about, but I ended up around their campfire eating a bowl of cherries and just chilling and then my mom and dad come running and they're like where have you been and I'm just like I've been here with like Susie and whatever his name is I don't know their actual names now but Susie and Larry let's just call them and I was like what's the big deal it's not a big deal mom why are you making such a big deal out of this mom it's not a big deal so this is a photo of me at random people's campsite. This is the cherry eating thing. This is like after they took the bowl away from me and I was like, what? <laughs> like I think I even have crumbs. Oh no, I'm roasting marshmallows in this one. So I have like marshmallow all over my face, roasting marshmallows. This isn't my campsite. Oh my god. And I look back now and I'm like, why did I do that? Like, I'm asking for someone to kidnap me, slice me up, and put me somewhere in the forest. Like, that is exactly what I'm asking for. And I've watched way too many crime, crime shows. 
So I know how this shit goes. Last story I will tell you is about me in the grocery store. So my mom took me when I was little to the grocery store. And so she's like over there talking and at this point I'm six. So six or seven. And I got bored because my mom kept yakking. So I was like, whatever. So I like zoomed off to the flowers. Like I ended up at the flowers. And at this grocery store, there's like a freezer type cooler thing room and it had a door so I opened the door and I thought cool it's like a secret room so I walk in and the door has a window but the window only goes like halfway like halfway up to the top like yeah so I'm short at this point cuz hello I'm six so you couldn't see me from anywhere so <laughs> My mom realizes I'm gone, freaks out, screams my name repeatedly, then calls it over the PA or whatever, and like staff's looking for me, everyone is on the manhunt for me, and I'm just sitting in the cooler like talking to my reflection or some shit, and she like swings open the freezer door because she saw like that much of me through the door, and I'm laughing at her. And she's like, oh my god, child, what are you doing? So, safe to say I wasn't allowed to go shopping anymore. At least till I was like eight or nine. So, that sucked. But it was so funny. I was like, how did I think that was okay when I was little? To just like disappear, hide, and think it's hilarious that my mom is like frantically looking for me. I was such a little shit. But those are three stories in which uh, I scared the crap out of my mom. And uh, yeah, that's all for today. Happy birthday, mom. And to the rest of you, have a great day. Peace.